get your rock out here at Hammerfest 2012 with the, uh, both the bands <laughs> from Spiritus. How are you doing today, guys? Good, very well. Yeah. Very good. And like last time we caught up with you was actually this time last year. So can you give us like a brief rundown of what you've been up to since then? Uh, first things first, we parted way with uh, our original guitarist and replaced him with uh, Alistair Bell. Um, we, well, yeah, that was uh, that was at the end of uh, the four sort of four day sort of mini tour with El Nino, who were here last year, and. Um, so we parted ways with uh, Andy. Alistair has been with us almost a year now. Um, back at um, Hard Rock Hell Road Trip Ibiza. Um, just been confirmed for this year, so that this will be our third time there. I've just been gigging and writing. Yeah, we've got a, a few new, we've got a bit, a few songs from the album today, and uh, a few new ones, a couple of uh, uh, exclusives for today. So, have you never played any of the new stuff before? Yeah, yeah, we, we have. We've been uh, sort of uh, demo and them in small shows, and uh, this all this is like our first big show where you know we really get to like full on, pretty much new stuff. And have they been received as well as your old stuff when they have, you know, been played? I think they've been received better actually because they've they've evolved in that the the funky side of music is coming out more than the metal. You know, we're kind of not moving away from metal, but making it clear that we're not a metal band as such. We're we're more funk rather than a metal band that's playing funk. We're a funk band that makes it heavy. So we've uh, we've moved into that. We're also. It's people are finding it a little harder to sort of like, oh, they sound like this band. We're coming into our own a lot more with the new stuff as well. So, I mean, were you kind of like aiming to attract new fans to keep your old fans happy, or did you just not think about it at all? We were aiming to do what we wanted to do. Uh, we had a lot more freedom to uh, go in the style that we want. Um, we're able to just have a lot more fun. Yeah, we, we write what feels good. If it doesn't feel good, it doesn't get, doesn't get played, it doesn't go any further. And so for people that kind of haven't really seen you live, what can, what can they expect when they go and see a show? Full on. It's just, it's a lot of fun. You know, we want people to be, you know, we get moshing. There's a lot of areas where people, just, you know, you can bust some shapes, do some dancing, uh, and then full on moshing again. So, you know, as long as people are enjoying it, having fun, you know, and then we, we bounce off them and it's, it just goes off, it's good. And so line-up wise, you know, obviously there is a bit of a change. Are you happy with this? Is this the line-up that's going to stick? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's no reason why, you know, why it won't be. Um, everything's, you know, Alistair's been with us almost a year and he's, he gelled straight away, which is usually a, it's a difficult thing to do, but... Uh, you know, he's just sliding perfectly, so it's, it's feeling good at the moment. Yeah. He, he has forced us all to step our game up um, because he is such an excellent guitarist um, that it's, it's been quite inspiring to have someone come in at that level. Um, it's really kicked our butts to, uh, to, to step up and improve. So, yeah. And, you know, you've also had a single featured on one of Metal Hammer's CDs lately. I mean, congratulations on that. What was that like? What did you say when you got the call? What? I, I didn't. I didn't yeah. actually. I didn't take it seriously. I thought it was a bit of a, a yeah. joke, and and uh, it was all sort of uh, head in the clouds. And then until we got the copy with the name, our name on the back, in. Uh, believe it when I see it. Yeah, <laughs> believe it when I see it. You know, take it with a pinch of salt. And then it was just like, there it is. You know, still play it. It's still in my car. I framed mine. It's on the wall. Really? <laughs> in a proper frame and everything? Yeah, yeah, it's really oh, that's great. Amazing. Yeah, it's a little bit sad. A little you know, bit. Have you not, did you not get more than one copy so you could, you know, play it as well? Well, no, because I've got the, the song at home anyway. Yeah, but it's different <laughs> to listen to it on a CD. I suppose, but I, I wouldn't want to wear it out. I've got, I've got, I've got the, like, the sleeve that it came in. I've got that in like a, a folder of my, all my stuff and that, but this, yeah, it's, it is, it, it does sound different. It's exactly the same track that's on the album, uh, but it just, Sounds different. Feels different, you know. Especially with, there's uh, loads of other bands on there, like uh, the Black Sabbath tribute um, CD. So uh, it's kind of special. So when can we actually expect a new release from you guys? 
Soon. soon. Very soon. We're going into the studio um, July. Is it July? Yeah, so July. July. Um, to go and record a couple of tracks um, and we're going to stagger a couple of releases of, uh, of singles. Yeah, so back end of the year, the first one will be released. I think we're going to do a bit of a single slash uh, media DVD type thing. A bit of footage, recording footage and live footage, bits and bobs, a bit of a special sort of package deal. Well, that all sounds really, really good. I mean, what kind of, for people that haven't really heard you before, what kind of thing can they be expecting from the album? More funk, more funk, um, more dynamics, um, different sounds. I'm using more effects to try and make it sound more funky, um, high energy. Yeah, it's... it's it's heavy, it's funky, it's upbeat, it's it just never, it's relentless. And uh, the live shows, come and see us live, you'll love it. Um, you, you can't not enjoy yourself, you know? You've, you've got to be really bitter to not in, enjoy, you know, not have a good time. And so do you consider yourselves a lot more of a live band than a band that likes to be in the studio? Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Studio is uh, almost a necessity. Yeah. It's better. And so, I mean, what you know, what about the chances of you doing a live DVD at some point? Is that kind of something that's in the pipeline? It's certainly, something we've been talking about. Um, it may, like I was saying, with this uh, multimedia package with the single, there'll be a bit on there. Maybe we'll just do a full on, a full on, like say, live DVD. See what happens. Watch this space. Well, we'll look forward to that. Um, obviously, we're here at Hammerfest. I mean, you're playing later. How excited are you about it? Very. <laughs> yeah, uh, there has been a bit of hype. Um, you know, people posting on like Facebook wall and things like that. I can't even see it. So, you know, it's can't wait to get. On. I'm, I'm itching to get on now. And. Uh, yeah, literally trying to contain ourselves. <laughs> yeah, it's really different. It's nice. There's, there's more people here this year that have heard about us. Last year we came relatively unknown. This year, not as much. Not as much unknown. <laughs> and so how, do, how are you feeling now compared to how you were feeling this time last year? I'm a little bit more nervous. Really? Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm <laughs> I don't tend to get sort of uh, jitters before we go on, but I'm... You know, because I think there's a, there's way more, there's a higher expectation. People are expecting a certain level from us this year, and uh, so uh, we've just got to, we've got to step it up. We've got to give it a, a ray game, and so it's yes. Yeah, I like this feeling though. You know, it doesn't come often, but yeah, it's good. I'm just really anticipating getting on stage. Last year, I had no expectations. I didn't know how many people were going to be there, what it was going to be like, what the sound was going to be like. But this year, I know what to expect. So. Um, it makes it even more exciting. And obviously you've got Hard Rock Hell Road Trip in Ibiza lined up. What else, like festival-wise, is there anything else in the pipeline? We've got a, we're in talks about a couple of larger festivals. We can't mention anything at the moment. Can we have clues? I don't, know. I don't get told anything, so, you know. <laughs> well, no. Uh, you, you can't give away secrets if you don't know them. <laughs> we, or can I? There's, um, we can't say. Uh, our manager's now looking at us. Uh, so, uh, I don't want to lose my job. Well, fingers crossed, like, whichever ones they are, I'm guessing that it's, like, some of the larger festivals over the summer. And so we'll, we'll hope, like, hugely to see you at, you know, at some of them. What else can we look for for the next 12 months from you? Well, there'll be the singles that we're going to be releasing. Um, there's going to be... There'll be videos to follow up the singles, um, yeah, and just you'll see us we're talk, up and down the country. We're like all trying to get as far wide as it's physically possible. Um, so any, yeah, you'll check out our website. There's always we're always somewhere. Anywhere that we've not been to yet this year, we're determined to get there. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, in that case, we'll look forward to hopefully seeing you guys, like, apart from today, obviously, but hopefully seeing you live very, very soon. Um, have a fantastic show tonight, um, and we'll, we'll look forward to catching up again with you at some point soon. Thank you very Cheers, much. Thank you.